Hello. I'm here. Is anyone there? Let's wait a few minutes, see what happens. Uh, see if any of you guys are actually out there. Doesn't look like it yet. Ah, hello. Hello, Christopher. There is someone out there. Hello, Internet. It's going good. How are you? I think it's just me and you so far. <laughs> ah, hello. Hello, Christopher. There is someone out there. Ooh, can you hear me okay? How's the sound? Ah, there's a few more people coming now. Hello, hello, hello. Glad you could all make it. So we're going to start in a few minutes. I'm just going to see. I think it takes a little while for it to go out across YouTube. Everyone's phone's getting a notification, hopefully. So let's wait a couple of minutes. Uh, if you're watching this on, uh, I don't know, pre-record or whatever. No, <laughs> as a recording, then skip forward a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, we should be uh, good to go soon. So th get your questions uh, in the chat, and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. I've got a cup of tea. I hope you've got some refreshments. Hello, Mohammed. By the way, if you want to share your sites in the uh, chat as well, I'm happy to maybe have a look at one or two tonight. Let's give you my uh, opinion. Good point, Saeed. I know there is better software that you can do streaming with, but it all looked a bit technical. So um, for now, I'm just using the Google Hangouts. But yeah, going forward, I'll try and get a better setup. Uh, what's Elementor? Let's have a look what that is. Ah, I see it's a page builder. I'm not familiar with it, to be fair. Um, Probably works for most themes. Um, Visual Composer is one that I use, and that comes with Kingdom and a few others. And yeah, that again works for most themes. In terms of getting your site to load faster, well, I've got some videos on the channel all about that. But basically, um, there's some caching plugins that you can install. A WP Fastest Cache is one. And uh, what's the other one? W Free Cache is another one. That should speed up your site. But generally, the way to get the biggest improvement is to upgrade your hosting. We could talk a bit about Pinterest if you if you like, Said, that's no problem. In terms of my Amazon uh, income per month, it's around five hundred dollars. Bearing in mind that I don't focus enough on my Amazon sites, I'm too busy with YouTube and WP Eagle and, and other stuff. However, that is going to change, and I'm going to be ranking up, ranking up, ramping up. I can't talk tonight. I'm going to be ramping up uh, my Amazon affiliate earnings very soon, and that's all going to be in some videos. Uh, I'm going to get focused on that and using some of the techniques that I spoke to Doug about. Uh, I'm going to be implementing them, so quite excited about that. Thank you, Embracing Wellness. That's a very nice comment. I'm glad I helped you out. You can definitely make a living out of Amazon Affiliate. Um, but you, once you get into Amazon Affiliate, you're probably going to want to kind of expand out into other affiliate programs, uh, ones that maybe pay a bit of a higher commission. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm already answering questions. All right, let's officially start. Hello, everybody. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. Glad you could all make it. Um, let's see how there's... 16 of you. Hey, that's not bad for a start. Hopefully some more will join us as we go on. Um, just post your questions in the chat. I'll try and read them as fast as I can and, uh, and answer them as best as I can. And well, let's start. Um, start firing your questions. So 
first one there can you make a website without putting money in from aditya i hope i said that right um that's tricky to make a website you generally do need a small investment because you need hosting and you need a domain name um however you can do things like affiliate marketing without putting too much money in because you can use platforms like youtube and facebook uh, and other free platforms to get your content out but generally you are going to need a very small investment um to set up a website In terms of generating content from GX Games there, generating content automatically, that is something that I, I wouldn't recommend. There are a number of plugins that allow you, a bit like uh, WooZone, for example, that generates content automatically because it pulls in uh, products for you and it can spin the descriptions, that kind of thing. The problem is, is that automatically generated content doesn't tend to do that well in terms of search, in terms of getting shares. So to really win, it's better to focus your efforts on creating maybe 10 or 15 good Good bits of content, you know, really good bits of content that you've uh, either paid a writer to do or you've you've written yourself. That will actually pay dividends uh, in the future, rather than generating loads of automatic kind of crap content. Tech guy, that's quite a detailed question. I think I can answer that tonight. But I'm happy if you post it in the forum or if you email me to have a look at those kind of problems. AdSense generally not showing up is because you haven't been approved or you just haven't waited long enough. Sometimes it can take a few days for AdSense to start showing. I've got to look at the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm looking at the chat. Um, I want to look at you. I'm not familiar with any cashback offer plugins, I'm afraid. Wix, that's kind of a weird question. I'm not familiar with Wix. I'm sure it's a good platform, but I prefer WordPress because uh, it's free, because you can host it where you like, because you basically have full control over it with Wix. You're on someone else's server, on someone else's platform, you're kind of stuck with them. So uh, if you can, I'd go for WordPress every time. Martin, do I use paid traffic? I did a video about this recently. I'm not sure if I did it on WP Eagle. I may have done it on my other channel, which I'm not sure if you guys have seen. I've got another channel, which is called Alex Cooper. I've done some videos on there about affiliate marketing. But yeah, um, using paid traffic, you can use it, but you've got to be smart with it. You've got to make sure that you're capturing people's email addresses uh, or driving it to a social media page where you're capturing likes, that kind of thing. Sending paid traffic just to affiliate offers is a really quick way to lose money. So yeah, just be really careful with paid traffic and make sure that you're getting the most amount of value out of that traffic. So, for example, if you're sending people to your website, have a newsletter opt-in with a good offer so that you can actually capture the email address, and then you can remarket to that by sending emails over a period of time so you get value out of all your clicks. Okay, I'm just trying to read your questions as quick as I can. What's my opinion on X-Theme? I love X-Theme and I have built some WooCommerce sites. In fact, I'm just about to launch one for a client um, next week or so. Uh, works really well. I think X-Theme is probably better than Flatsome because it's far more flexible. Um, it's not just WooCommerce. You can do a blog or you can do a corporate site. You can do whatever you like with it. So yeah, once you've got X-Theme, you can pretty much do whatever you like. You can put AdSense ads on your website, probably maybe around the blog content, but AdSense does not really earn you that much money, so you might not want to lose people through AdSense ads. Opening a Shopify store, I guess tech guy you're thinking about drop shipping or something like that. Again, check out my other channel, um, which I'll just post a link to. I've done a couple of videos on that. Um, it didn't work too well for me. Um, but I know some people that have had some great success with it. So um, take a look. It's very easy to set up a Shopify store. There's my other channel. Be sure to check it out. Um, you can do Wix, that's fine. At the end of the day, all you need to do is create some good content. Um, you don't necessarily have to import products. You just need some good content in a good uh, kind of niche um, again, look at some of the videos I just did with, Dunk, uh, with Doug. Uh, he explains this in, in more detail. So the platform doesn't really matter. So if you want to use Wix, use Wix, but you won't be able to import products and use the Amazon API or anything like that. 
um, the kind of stuff that we do with WooZone. Paul, posting on Google Shopping, um, you could do that. But again, I, I think you'd probably end up spending more money on clicks than you would actually earning. And it's also quite hard to track when you're running an Amazon affiliate campaign. So probably best avoided. I'd be interested to see what new intro you could come up with. Why don't you do me something, send it over and I'll, I'll take a look. Okay, let's have a look at one of your sites. Um, let's see. Let's bring one up and see if I can share my screen with you guys, hang on. Man, that light's bright. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, let's see, can you guys see my screen? <laughs> Let me just bring up the chat. Uh, can you see my screen, everybody? You should be able to see that site there, yeah, wait. Ah, yeah, I think you can see my screen. Someone recognize that site? Is it Wace? How am I gonna pronounce your name, Wace? So this is myshoppingsense.com. It might take a few moments to come through. Okay, so let's have a look at the site. It is using Storefront, uh, looking at it, which is the free theme, which I use in the latest um, Amazon uh, tutorial. I see you've gone for some uh, banner ads. They look good. Got some good products here. Um, on sale, could probably get a few more products on the home page. To me, this menu looks too big. It's gone onto two lines, so I'd try and reduce that down. Um, either you even need to reduce the um, the number of items you've got, or you could maybe use a little bit of CSS, um, possibly. But uh, yeah, I would try and get that onto one line, so this header's not so big. Um, one thing I don't see is a blog. Is this a blog? No, that's uh, more products. So it's looking good in terms of products, but you really need a blog and you really need some content on here. So if you want to start ranking, uh, that's what I suggest for this site. But other than that, good job. It's looking good and well done. Wow, Marcos, that's great. Um, I love I love comments like that. <laughs> that is why I started making videos is to try and help people, uh, you know, do something different in their life and you know, maybe earn a bit of money. I hope you are earning a few, a few pound, a few dollars, a few euros, whatever, off those fourteen sites. Uh, I'm sure you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep building them. But yeah, maybe me and you should hook up another time and have a chat. Maybe we could do a video together or something. That would be really interesting to hear your story and the sites you've been making. Hey, Art. Good to see you. Okay, um, Art, when you decide when it's enough time for investing time on a new, it's an interesting question. Generally, you just wanna get it to a point where it's earning a bit of money. I mean, there's kind of a benchmark of maybe 10 or 15 articles, uh, get it looking nice, and then you know maybe adding another article or two every month. Um, I think that's what you mean by that question. I mean, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say because I know that you've got a couple of sites up running now and have been doing uh, affiliate stuff for a little while. And you know, what do you think? Yeah. 
Aaron, I'll, I'll get your site up in a second and we'll have a look at it. Christopher, I'll, I'll have a look at yours as well in a few moments. Lee Ran, uh, table plugins. Uh, it depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to do pricing tables, there's a great one on Code Canyon called uh, Responsive Price Tables. Generally, if you do a search, you'll find a couple of good pricing tables ones. If you're looking for general tables, then I'd be careful because those sort of tables don't work very well on mobiles. If you look actually through my channel a while back, let me do a search. I did a video on how to add tables. Kim, I guess you're talking about the, the um, website that we just had up. They were using WordPress and storefront theme. You can see it in my latest video on how to create an Amazon affiliate site. William, I, it's a good question, but it's kind of out of my field. I don't do any um, FBA stuff, which is kind of what I think you're doing. Um, yeah. That's not something I do, but there's a great guy on YouTube called Tanner Fox, Tanner J. Fox or something like that. And that's Mike. He's, he's from Back to the Future. Do a search and you'll find a guy who's, who's really good on all that stuff. Check out his videos. Anyway, before I go to any more questions, slow down a little bit. Let's have a look at, um, this is Aaron's site. Um, let me just see if I can share my screen again. Okay, so this is Aaron's site. Um, hopefully you can see it. Let me just see if I can get it the right size. There we go. Now, I'm not familiar with what this theme is. Let's have a look what it is. Is it gonna tell me? I don't know. Um, wow, it looks good. It's full of deals. Um, I guess you did. I don't know if you followed any of my videos because it's not a site that I would have made, but it looks good. And yeah, just go straight off to um, to Amazon. It looks good. I'd be interested to know if you're making any money out of it, because um, it doesn't look like there's enough content to me. It's also quite broad uh, in terms of you know, there's loads of deal sites. So yeah, let me know if you're making any money. Nice site though. Okay, uh, that's interesting. The drone site is not wake, make, working too well. How's the beard site going though? Is that still going well? If you don't know, Art was featured in one of my success story videos a little while back. Got a great site um, all about beards and beard care. <laughs> oh, Art, you know you're trading in crypto. That's interesting. I'm, I'm doing I'm not trading, but I've invested a bit again if check my other channel I did a video on crypto. I'll just post a link just yesterday Okay, let's have another look at someone else's site um christopher i know you put yours up let me find it there we go this is a new site i believe let's have a look Okay, just coming up now, just loading. I've got too many windows open, sorry, hang on. So 
So this is the natural monk. I'll just wait for it to be a few guys. There we go. Uh, looks really nice. Again, I don't know what theme it is. Not one of mine, I don't think. But you've got a nice uh, sign up there. Always good to catch your email addresses. That way you can obviously send messages to uh, your visitors uh, on an ongoing basis. It looks good because the other two sites we looked at were kind of general deal type sites. This one is in a niche, obviously the healthcare niche, um, health products, that sort of thing, juices, fitness equipment. You've got no blog articles. I know it's a new site, so I'm not going to tell you off for that, but you know you need to add probably 10 before you really get the site flying. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Nice theme. Let's have a quick look at one of your categories. Oh, it's Flatsome. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognize it. Uh, I do, though, when I click through there. Good work. So I think my point when it comes to looking at these sites, a lot of people try and do a general site, so a deal site or um, new product site or whatever. To get ranking on search and to get those long tail searches, which are where people are typing in lots of keywords and looking for something very specific, um, you really need to choose a niche. So that's why like the beard care is a great niche. Uh, health um, stuff is a good niche. If you get more specific, so for example, you could do a site just on juicing. Um, that would probably work even better. So the more specific your niche, the more chance you've got of getting ranked. And then you actually, it becomes easier then to create content uh, because you can be very focused in the content you write you know, around certain keywords. So I don't know, what's the best juicer for apples or something like that, you know, very specific searches. You can write an article on that or get someone to write you an article. And, and then there's a good chance uh, once you've got a few links to your site that you should start ranking. Right, I'm just going back for a few of the comments. I'm a little bit behind you guys. Um, so there was a question. I sorry, I can't see it now, um, which I wanted to answer. Uh, the difference between free and premium themes. Generally, you get a lot more with a premium theme. You also get support, you get updates, uh, they've got more features, uh, that kind of thing. So I'd always recommend that you go for a, a premium theme if you can afford it. Ali, I'll call you Ali. I'm doing my best to answer as many questions as I can. Um, keep calm. What's better for affiliate marketing, Amazon or ClickBank? It really depends on the kind of content you're going to be making. Why not do a site with both? Um, they're both product sites. In fact, the best affiliate sites, generally, you're, you're using a number of different um, affiliate programs. It really depends on the niche you're in and the kind of content you're creating and which products you know fit best with that. So by all means, try both. To earn continuously 500 per month with one website set up can be done. Um, you just need to have a good niche, probably go for something with high value products and get some really good content and get a good, a good some good search engine rankings. That should be achievable. Kim, the, the two kind of go hand in hand in terms of should you be an affiliate first or start your own website? You can sign up as an affiliate straight away with a number of uh, different programs like Amazon, and then you can use social media and maybe YouTube, something like that to then promote those things. Um, if you don't want to do that, then yeah, you're going to need to start your own website. So start your website and then sign up as an affiliate and start creating your content. Is it okay to embed someone else's YouTube within an article? Um, yeah, that's fine. That's all. That's a good way of doing it. In fact, one way is to, for example, do like a top ten list um, and then include videos or include ten videos. You, you, you know, the ten best wellness videos or, or whatever. By all means, use other people's content and repurpose it. Obviously, don't copy anything, but embedding videos and then making your own comment or bringing different videos together to make a post is, is certainly fine. Yeah, you can sell on US uh, while you live in Germany. That should be fine.
Ali, I answered your question already. It depends uh, on your products and your niche, whether you want to use Amazon or ClickBank. ClickBank is generally more um, electronic products like eBooks and stuff and courses. To create your menu, um, just take a few items off or, or kind of put it into, have some more sub-menus. You've just got a few too many items. Or possibly in storefront, there's a setting to reduce the spacing between menu items. You could turn that down a little bit. Mark, you can certainly make money with uh, affiliate marketing with a free Wix website. It's all about the content that you add to the website and what you do with it. Okay, we're up to 33 viewers. It's going well. We're about halfway through. I'm going to wrap up um, around nine o'clock ish, maybe a little bit before. We'll see how we get on. I've not used Facebook PPC traffic to send stuff to an Amazon site. Um, I've done it to drop shipping sites and other things. It, it works fine, but you need to make sure that you're going to capture some uh, of your customers' information rather than just letting them all go off to Amazon or wherever. That way they own the customer and you don't. So you want to try and collect email addresses, maybe a newsletter opt-in. Uh, on WooZone, there's an option where you can collect email addresses in the checkout. So as long as you're getting email addresses, uh, maybe some social likes as well, then yeah, why not use some Facebook um, ads? But be very careful. You got to make sure that your earnings, you know, add up and that you're you're earning more than you're spending. I'm glad you're enjoying enjoying Doug's input. Uh, he's a really interesting guy, and he's had some great success with Amazon. And his course looks really good as well. Um, you know, he's I told you he sold a website for two hundred thousand, so it's pretty incredible stuff. I do think Pinterest is a good tool, um, but again, it depends on your niche. If you've got very visual uh, products, so for example, you've got a, you're in the fashion niche, maybe like my boot boutique site. I think I talked about Pinterest in one of my videos actually way back. So yeah, you've got loads of cool stuff like new boots, that sort of thing that you can post on Pinterest. It works really well, and you can obviously include links back to products or posts on your site. So I think it does have SEO benefit if you can spend the time on it. Let's have a look at fidgetsforall.com. That sounds interesting. Give me a second. Martin, to get traffic to your site, there's so many different ways. Um, but it's all about creating content. And so get some good content on your site, and then maybe think about creating content for other people's sites. If you look at the video I recently did with Doug, he talks about reaching out to other sites that are kind of similar to what you're promoting, obviously not competitors, but you know they complement what you're doing reaching out to them, commenting on their blogs, sending them an email, but nothing too spammy, just kind of something nice to try and get a dialogue going, uh, and then maybe offering them a great piece of content that they can put onto their site, which is of value to their site, in the hope that they will then give you a link back. And you only need a few of those good links, and you'll start to rank on Google, and you'll start to get traffic. The other option um, is social media, which I cover in a number of different videos, where you build up a Facebook following, Twitter following, that kind of thing. And um, Facebook groups are also a good way of getting traffic if you can build up your own group. Um, there's loads of different ways of getting traffic, but uh, they generally um, involve creating some good content that you can then share and, and get out across the internet. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna look at fidgets for all in a second. It's just learning, I'm just trying to answer a few more questions. Uh, Lee Ran, I get more revenue uh, from WP or than I do on my Amazon affiliate sites. I do think opt-in pop-ups do annoy some people, but it, I think it depends on what you're offering. If you've got a great offer, so you're giving something away for free, um, then they're not so annoying. But yeah, you just got to kind of try different positions out, that kind of stuff, see which works best. Recommended split of pages and posts. Um, you're going to have more posts because hopefully you're going to keep adding posts to your site. So generally you'd have more posts. Pages are generally more static. In terms of kind of salesy content and informational content, again, talking to Doug, he reckoned like a 50-50 split. So you've got you know, half your articles are giving really good information, good information that helps people buy, and obviously they'll have a few affiliate links in them as well. 
Uh, and then the other half of your content is kind of salesy review stuff, that kind of thing. Carolyn, I, I hear you on the image size. Have you emailed me? I'm not sure if you have. If you have, could you email me again and I'll try and spot it and help you with that on a one-to-one -one over email? I know a lot of you have had problems with image sizes and, and whatever. Okay, Art's uh, got a good suggestion there, which is using notification, which I guess is browser notifications. Um, so you can pop messages up in people's browsers rather than... Am I right with that, Art? Say in the chat. <laughs> Cheap dancer, you're okay putting prices if you're using WooZone because that updates um, every day. If you're not using WooZone, then I would probably be careful with prices because, yeah, they have to be right, otherwise Amazon get quite annoyed. It's never too late to become a successful affiliate. The market is not saturated. Affiliate is not a market, but there is an unlimited number of niche markets, um, pretty much <laughs> nearly an unlimited number of niche markets out there. So as long as you find the right one, and it might take you a few to find the right one, a few few different attempts, but there is going to be a market that you'll find uh, that will uh, generate you some money. Generally insert Amazon product images using a plugin because now you're not actually really allowed to copy the images down to your site. So it's best to use a plugin that kind of pulls them in dynamically for you. Right, uh, let's just uh, answer a couple more questions and I'm going to have a look at the uh, the fidget site. Am I making a living? Yes, I am. I don't have a day job. I haven't had a day job for over 15 years. Um, I make a living off YouTube. I have some clients as well, and they're not so many. I'm winding down the client side of things and focusing more on YouTube and affiliate and other bits and bobs that I'm into. Uh, the Amazon disclaimer just generally needs to be in the footer. You should probably have a privacy policy in terms of use, and you can find generic ones online that you can just use. Right, let's fire up a, a site quickly. I'll come back to these questions in a second. So fidgets for all. Uh, okay, it's just loading up. Okay, it looks good. Uh, so fidget spinners, that big craze that was going on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, is it still going on? It's a nice looking site. Um, Flatsome again, by the look of it. Uh, you've done well. You're going to need some content. I'm going to say that pretty much every site. I'm not sure if this niche is going to work or not. I don't know if you might have missed the boat. That's only my opinion. Uh, the problem with these fads, there's no kind of long-term uh, thing in it kids they love them for like a couple of weeks and then they're bored of them but good luck um you never know uh, in terms of content i'm sure if you go onto youtube and places like that you'll find some great videos with fidget spinners and you could maybe use them by embedding them into content and creating content around you know the craziest fidget spinner um videos and then again by using social media i think that kind of thing would work really well with this um this niche Good luck with it. It looks really nice. Well done on the site. If fidget, if fidgets, widgets, whatever, fidget spinners don't work out, then you obviously know what you're doing and you should be able to get another site up in a different market uh, really quickly. Uh, you can use the hosting that you've already got. But I'm not saying it's not going to work. It's just my gut feeling. Okay. <laughs> I'm wrong then. Wow. You totally haven't missed the boat with the fidget spinners. Well played to you. See, what do I know? <laughs> How are you getting your traffic, by the way? That'd be interesting to know. Sorry, a good plugin to get Amazon images is using WooZone, or there is another one, um, 
which I can't remember just now. Let me just have a quick look. Content Egg is another one which is available on Code Canyon. That's a good way of pulling stuff in and it also updates prices, that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, I thought it would be social media. It's a great um, niche for social media, the widget, uh, fidget widget spinners. But yeah, great. I, maybe again, GX Games, I'd love to talk to you maybe on a one-to-one -one about your site, how it's going, and share that with, with the other guys. Uh, really interesting. So yeah, Content Egg, I will post a link. It's not affiliate. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a video on it very soon. It looks really good. I do hear you, yes, here. I I have been too impatient with the drop shipping, um, and I haven't had the time to focus on it. I am going to go back to it, but I know that you do have to invest a bit more money, find some more products, and spend some more time. But once you get it working, it, it's a you know a money machine. Been odd. That's an interesting question. My highest monthly income, uh, if I don't include um, like client stuff, just you know affiliate stuff. I've had a, a ten thousand month once. That was my best month so far. Okay, and Alexander, affiliate program is basically you promote other people's products online. So for example, Amazon, you sign up with Amazon as an affiliate. They give you a special link that you can then share on your website or uh, other places. When someone clicks that link, <coughs> excuse me, when someone clicks that link, goes to Amazon and buys something, you then get paid a commission. That's an affiliate program and lots and lots of companies offer them uh, for lots and lots of different products. And the amount you get paid varies between all of them. So yeah, simple as that, but generally uh, you just sign up and then you get some links that you can uh, share or some affiliate programs even give you uh, voucher codes that you can uh, share or put on your website and then when someone uses the voucher code you get paid a commission <laughs> yeah i'm not quite there i mean there's loads of guys vinod talking about earnings it's i don't like talking about earnings too much but i know obviously all you guys uh, a lot of you are doing this because you want to make some money um, I'm nowhere near some of the guys on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen their videos that have got the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis, but I like to, I guess learning off me is quite good because I'm on that way. And then when you get to my level, then probably looking at them is the next step. If that makes sense. You know, cause they're quite a way ahead. The guys that have got the Ferraris and the millionaires. I'm, you know, got, I'm a few steps down that path and I want to share that information with you guys. Yeah, there is tons and tons of affiliate programs. Pretty much every company has got an affiliate program nowadays. So whatever product or service or whatever you want to promote, you should be able to find an affiliate program. Start with somewhere like uh, Commission Junction. They're an affiliate network, and they've got tons and tons of merchants on there, loads of companies that you can sign up to and start promoting. Carolyn, yeah, Amazon generally only come and review your site um, when you start making sales and sending them traffic. So you're fine to set stuff up. It's only when you start sending over traffic um, then they'll come looking. And see, that's a good question. Uh, good point. I should repeat the questions. Um, I'm new to this live stuff. They can only get better. <laughs> so what is the best niche for Amazon affiliate that's less competitive? If we knew that, we'd all be millionaires. Um, just you just have to keep searching around Amazon and try different niches out. You'll find one that works for you. Generally, as I said earlier, the more specific niche, um, the better. Um, uh, Liran, in terms of how much time um, would it take for a niche site with ten articles, 
to start seeing start seeing meaningful traffic. It's going to take a couple of months, but you are going to need to work on building some inward links from other sites. And uh, the more reputable the site you get the link from, the better. So if you get some good links, sometimes it can take even longer. If you've got a new domain, it can take up to six months for Google to move you out of the sandbox, as it were, and start showing your site on Google Search. I have a Woo Zone and would like to know if there is a way to do worth paying ads for it. We've already kind of infinite. Is it worth doing paid ads? Um, not to start with, I wouldn't bother. I would focus on creating content. And if you've got a little bit of money, find a good writer that can help you create some good content. Doug kindly shared some templates with us in the previous video. Do check them out. There's a link on there. Sign up to his e email list and he will send you a content template. So all you need to do is kind of fill in the blanks or get a writer to fill in the blanks. Um, so yeah, sorry, Kim. Yeah, Commission Junction, I think it's cj.com, is a great place to find affiliate programs. How long am I in the business? I've been in the business five or six years now, something like that. And now that's from a, a number of different sites and from YouTube as well. I'm including my affiliate earnings from YouTubers from that as well. The question was, did, did I make 10,000 a month from one site? Let's see, any more questions? Um, okay, let's try looking at YouTube one, two, free site, which is top thing, top 10 things dot in. Let me just open a window. I and what which technique do I use for choosing keywords? I mentioned before I use the AdWords keyword planner. Um, but yeah, Doug mentioned another tool. Uh, was it Keyword Keg? I think he mentioned, which is a good one as well. Okay, so let's just share my screen for this one. Okay, so this is top 10 things. I don't know what the theme is. Nice social share buttons. Some nice content on here. So we've got the top 10 smartphones under 15,000. I guess that's rupees, because this is an Indian site. I was going to say, there, there's some expensive phones. Um, but yeah, a great content-focused site. And I like it. I think you should do well. How's it going? Lists of stuff like this is really good. Uh, it's a really good way of creating content. Obviously, you don't have to focus your entire site around building lists, but it's always a great idea for content. Familia, have I ever sourced from Alibaba? Um, yes, I have. And there is a video over on my other channel, which is Alex Cooper. Check it out, do a search for me, or you'll find it linked from the main channel here. You'll find some videos on my dropshipping fun with AliExpress. Only a couple of videos. It's something I want to look into more, but I've got too many other uh, planes in the air, as it were. So I'm not doing it right now. Which one would I prefer um, for mailing? Would it be Aweber or MailChimp? I would go with MailChimp every time. Aweber can be very strict on what you can send, and certain markets they really don't like so any like get, make money market or sometimes the health market they're very restrictive on what you can send so go for mailchimp mailchimp's got some great tools now as well for doing kind of autoresponders and that kind of stuff can you put more than one affiliate source like amazon on one site yeah you can that shouldn't be a problem you can have as many affiliate programs as you want on one site Uh, 
Uh, what was the good question, Carolyn? Did I miss it? Anthony, do I know anything about the Woo Invato plugin? I think I briefly see that. I think that's just similar to WooZone, but it allows you to pull products in from the Invato marketplace. So if you're going to set up a site around WordPress themes, uh, which incidentally is not a bad idea if you want to do reviews or demos, great place to create content. Uh, I, in fact, used to do that a lot, you know, just look at themes and record them, and it's a good way of earning commission. I had another site, it's still up actually, 101bestwpthemes.com. Well, that up to, that's like up to a couple of thousand a month um, just promoting Invato products. And it was like, you know, top 10 themes for photographers and that kind of stuff. So using uh, being an affiliate with Invato is is a good thing. And there's plenty of kind of niches you can carve out on uh, within that marketplace. Um, Go back to keywords, do I target low volume searches? It's generally easier to target low volume searches because they generally have less commission. Less commission, <laughs> we're talking about commission, less competition. Um, so yeah, you wanna target as many kind of long tail searches as you can. And they may only have a few hundred views, but again, if you get ranking for 10 or 20 of those um, long tail low volume searches, they all add up to quite a lot of searches and quite a lot of traffic. So Brandon, how do I include the link and product photo from other affiliate websites on my blog? Generally, um, when you sign up with other companies as an affiliate, they will give you the links that you need, or they'll give you a tool so that you can generate links, very similar to Amazon. Sometimes they also give you images you can use. If they don't, they're generally fine where you're just copying and pasting the image straight from their uh, website. Hi, Ali King. Mark, so you've got a Wix site and you're looking to earn at least 50 to 100 pound per week for starters. How long will it take? It really depends on how much work you've done on your site, how much content you've got on your site, whether you've been able to get any links to your website. It could take a few months for a brand new website to start getting traffic from Google, for example. But generally, most people start seeing their first commissions within a few months, sometimes quicker. Thanks, Lee Ren. I hope my answers are fairly coherent. I'm sure when you're watching this back um, after the event as a recorded video, it's probably not gonna make any sense because as you kindly pointed out, I should really read back the questions so that you all know what I'm talking about. Um, Ali King, sure, yeah, go and check out his channel. He's got it. It's about Clash of Clans and eight ball oh, pool. That's very specific. Good luck with that. Fair play, anyone who starts anything, whether it be a new website, a YouTube channel, uh, anything, uh, just go for it. And I wish you the best of luck. Just doing something is doing more than most people out there in the world. You know, by doing something, uh, you're starting down a journey of, of hopeful success, hopefully success. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Anthony. Yeah, in the next Q&A next week, I'm going to make sure that I read out the questions. I can do a video on CSS. I guess, are you talking, this is uh, Wace again. Do I have a video on CSS? I did one a while back using Firebug. Um, but yeah, I guess you're, are you looking about, are you talking about changing your menu uh, spacing? I'll do a video on that soon. Yeah, baby is motivating, that's for sure. I should use Super Chat. What does Super Chat do? Let's see. Ah, what is, what is, is that where you have to pay or something? Pay to answer, ask me a question? I can't remember. 
I've opened it, but I don't see any super chats in there. Hi, Mark. Who have you approached? That's interesting. Generally, you can sign up yourself. You don't need to. Uh, the question is, I've Mark just said he uh, he's approached a number of different companies to join their affiliate program. Not heard anything. Generally, you can just sign up and fill in a form, and, and off you go. I'd be interested to find out what companies you've approached. I have heard of the Six Figure Mentors. Kim's asking, have I heard of them? I have. I've heard that their course is very expensive, and you're probably not going to. It's probably not going to help you in a great. They're going to tell you a lot of stuff that I'm telling you, and a lot of the other guys on YouTube are telling you. Um, but they're going to take a lot of money, and there's a, there's a lot of upsells in it. That's just my what I've heard, and it's my opinion. By all means, try it out. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend spending loads of money on courses um, until you get started, because there's enough information on YouTube. I think, um, yeah, for anyone to get started in affiliate marketing. Yeah, embracing wellness. Uh, I am. <laughs> she asked, I am a busy guy. Are you a busy guy? Do you focus your attention more on making new sites once you get the existing ones making you money? Yeah, that's generally the plan. You get a site making money, then you move on to the next one. I'm also really busy creating content and doing stuff like this for my YouTube channel. So uh, half of the work is creating sites, and the other half is creating content for them sites and keeping them up to date. Yeah, I'm going to do a video without using WooZone. It's my next one. Um, I'm just going to do a simple blog with um, some content and link off to some affiliate programs in that one. So check that out soon. It's probably going to be a few weeks yet. I'm still kind of planning it and starting the recording. The question was, did I say the question? Can I make a video without uh, on how to make an affiliate site without WooZone? Uh, I see, Mike, you're trying to sign up with Amazon. They will eventually get back to you. They can be a bit slow. Ali, uh, your question is, should you promote products from one niche? Generally, yeah, you want to have a very specific site about one niche. You don't need to have lots and lots of products. Uh, you only need to have a few products that integrate well into the content you're promoting. So going back to art site, the beard site, you don't need uh, lots. Of, I'm sure he has got quite a few products, but you know it's very specific niche. It's just you know beard trimmers and uh, waxes and all that kind of stuff, and then content around there. You know what's the best beard trimmer? How do you use beard wax? And, and then obviously including links within that um, within that content. You only need ten products, and if you sell them all a thousand times, you'll get enough money rather than having a thousand products and selling them all ten times. Art, my zombie merc website is only <laughs> earning a very small amount of money. I think, as I said way back when I created that site and in the videos, that wasn't a particularly great niche. Uh, the content gets good good feedback actually, so I'm sure it's got potential. But I haven't done any really work, any more work on it. So, Okay, I think we're going to wrap up in the next five minutes or so. I hope you've all uh, enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. It feels quite stressful, actually, when <laughs> all these questions coming at me. So maybe next time I'll ask for some questions in advance and, and do it that way. That might be a good way of doing it. But let me know what you thought. Um, yeah, next time I will try and <laughs> read all the questions out that, that come in so that people know what I'm talking about. When will I next be live? I'm hoping to do this every week, every Wednesday around this time. Um, obviously, schedule allowing. Yeah, when I say content, it's just, yeah, it's writing articles, it's making videos, um, that kind of stuff. And yeah, if you check out my last few videos, the ones with Doug, he talks about two different types of content, whether you have uh, informational content, so a nice article, um, the example he used was all about nappies or diapers, so helping people choose whether they should have a disposable um, nappy or a reusable nappy. Uh, nice bit of content. And the other sort of content he talks about is review content, 
so maybe having price comparison tables or feature comparison tables and talking about different products and helping people choose the right one. I'm not sure about AdSense. The question is, can you sign up for Google AdSense with a free Wix site? I don't know. I can't see any reason why not. Uh, generally, if your site's got good content and isn't too adverty, as it were, or too affiliate they should be fine. Thanks, Helen. I'm glad you loved it. I'll see you in the next one. I could maybe do one on the weekend. Question is, there, can I do one on the weekend? Possibly. Although generally, I try not to do any work on the weekend. <laughs> try and relax a little bit. Yeah, I'll do some WP earrings. That would be good. WP Eagle earrings. Oh, the subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, I could make it hover. Well, I'm just getting some good feedback in the chat. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm not sure how to... Um, um, post the chat. Is that something I can do? I don't know. Okay, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up now. Uh, it's getting quite late here. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Um, if you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe. But I'm sure you already are. Otherwise, you wouldn't know that I was doing this. Um, there was a new video up earlier today, uh, one with Doug. Be sure to check it out if you haven't watched it already. And yeah, I'll try and get another video up for you next week. And I'll try and do another live session. Same time next week, Wednesday. That's 8 o'clock uh, UK time, 3 o'clock New York time and 12 o'clock midday on the other coast of America, California. Whatever, so, was that Pacific time? You think it's called? <laughs> I'm not very good with time zones. Okay, you just want me to copy and paste? I'll copy and paste the chat. I, I do know how to copy and paste, actually. That's something that I learned a little while back. So I will copy and paste it into the description. I don't know whether it will make any sense, but um, <laughs> I've got it in my clipboard now. Doug does have a channel too. Uh, there's a link in any of the videos um, that he's in on my channel. Just have a look in the description and you'll find it. Or do a search for Doug Cunnington. Anyway, good night from me. Uh, thanks all for coming. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.